Good morning. It is my sincere pleasure to welcome you to the ribbon cutting ceremony for the first Shankland Road EMS station that we've built. Um, we are hoping to better serve the community and response times in this area by having the station here. And we just wanted to thank everybody for coming. This will better, the response times will be reduced. We're running about 16,000 calls a year, approximately 325 calls a week. So anything we can do to add stations and personnel is going to make better serve the community by having us to where we can get to the people's houses in crisis in a quicker response time. Um, I also want to thank County Council for um, their support of this project and Phil Foote because without them we would have never had this project come off the ground. So again, we wanted to thank everyone for the ceremony coming out. We knew it was raining so we weren't sure how many people would be able to come out. but. We appreciate your coming out in the weather, and we appreciate you coming to see our new station. I'd like to introduce the Phil Foote, who is the, um, the Director of Public Safety. Phil. All right, thank you, Donna. Thank you for stopping the rain like I ordered. <laughs> uh, thank you all for coming out today. Uh, this is a big day for us in Beaufort County. It's a big day for everybody. Uh, I want to thank everybody that had something to do with this and getting us to this point. Uh, we couldn't have done this without the help of everybody that actually is out there right now, standing out there, uh, that is watching on live stream on our Facebook page and on the county channel uh, that wasn't able to make it here today in person. So we want to make sure that we thank everybody that had a hand in putting this station together and getting us to this point right now. Uh, a lot of people have shown up. Uh, that's, that's great support out here for this community. Uh, I'm thankful for everybody that has shown up. We have a lot of partners out there uh, that partner up with us at Beaufort County EMS. Uh, our personnel, our EMTs and paramedics are uh, outstanding paramedics and EMTs. They serve the community well, and we're so very proud of them. And without our team, and I mean our team is our partners, that's everybody that's standing out here right now, and everybody that's watching, uh, I look out and I see uh, our brothers and sisters from our fire departments that work closely with us on our mission, along with our law enforcement agencies, and one of the people I want to uh, thank also is somebody that's not seen, and that's a big part of the team, and uh, that's our dispatchers. They take all the calls, but uh, a lot of people don't get to see them, and uh, they're out there helping us every day with these calls for service. So they're a very important part of this team, too. And so I want to thank them for everything they do every day. I would be remiss if I didn't uh, point out a few people out here, uh, especially my supervisor. Uh, I think that's important. So uh, my interim county administrator is my supervisor, Eric Greenway. Uh, thank you for all your support. And our interim deputy county administrator, Robert Betchold, who uh, without your support, we wouldn't get these things done every day. So thank you for that. Also, we have some celebrities out here. Um, one of them is a former director of EMS, Rusty Hollingsworth. I'd like to thank him uh, for helping get this system to where it's at. And without another special person, uh, Ed Allen, who was our former EMS director, who was the former coroner of Beaufort County, uh, I don't think the EMS system would be what it is today if it was not for him. So if everybody would give uh, Ed a big round of applause. He... he got us to where we're at, so, so thank you very much for that. Uh, I see a lot of other people. I wish I could have time to thank everybody, but I don't want to keep everybody back. Uh, but, you know, I do see representatives from all the fire departments are out here, uh, the sheriff's department, law enforcement. Uh, thank you all for coming today and, and supporting us. And thank you for supporting us every day 
as we do our jobs every day. It's, it's a tough business and uh, we can't do it without the teamwork that we have with everybody in the county. And so this is really a station for everybody. And um, this station is not just a station, it's a testament to Beaufort County Council's commitment to the citizens and visitors of Beaufort County. Uh, that they want us to provide the best possible service to our citizens. And we couldn't do that without getting stations like this online and having the equipment that we need in order to do that. So I, I'd really like to thank County Council for their everyday support, uh, always having Public Safety Division uh, helpful when we go through our County Council and, and ask for funding. Uh, they're always there to support us and, and we thank them for that. And before I relinquish, I want to turn it over to um, our county council member for District 1, which this station is in. Uh, some of you may know and some of you may not know, Councilman Dawson was a paramedic for Beaver County EMS and so uh, he does have a special tie with us. And, and that's also very important. And so we're very thankful that he's here uh, to be part of this grand opening. And, and so we're very thankful that uh, he's gonna speak and I'm gonna get out of the way. So thank you all again for coming today and uh, I will turn it over to Councilman Gerald Dawson of District One. Good morning to everyone this morning. As the uh, county, county council representative for District 1, uh, I want to thank uh, each and every one of you for being in attendance this morning uh, as we uh, celebrate the grand opening of the Shanklin EMS uh, station. Due to the continued growth in the county, planning for this new facility started in 2014. Uh, for one of the new stations in the northern part of the county, and one in the southern part of the county. Uh, this facility has been uh, completed first with the other in the southern county to come on later in the fall of this year. The station was designed by Court Atkins and constructed by uh, Frazier Construction. The Beaufort County Engineering Department provided uh, project management. So we would like to thank uh, Andrea uh, Atherton and Wes Campbell and uh, Brittany Fields. Let's give them a hand, if you will. <laughs> this station will be manned 24 hours, um, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Uh, it will house one ambulance uh, with two crew members and a quick response uh, vehicle, uh, better known as uh, QRV. And there will be one crew member to that uh, uh, QRV. The facility and the crews will be a great addition for responding to medical emergencies for all citizens and visitors of Beaufort uh, County. This station will provide service to medical 911 calls from Highway 21 uh, to the intersection of Highway 17, uh, 170, to Joe Frazier, uh, all the way out to Laurel Bay, and from Highway 21 to Bruce K. Smalls Drive. On behalf of Beaufort County Council, myself included, we would like to thank each and every uh, staff member of EMS and every EMS personnel for everything they do to save lives every day and provide the best medical service to all the citizens and visitors of Beaufort County. I would also like to thank uh, our director of EMS, uh, Ms. Donna Ornby, for her leadership. Let's give them all a hand if you will. Thank you, thank you. On a historical note, <clears throat> um, this facility has been built near the grounds of uh, what is known as the Port Royal Agricultural School, later renamed as the Beaufort County Training School, but currently known as the Old Shanklin School. This area represents the rich history of Beaufort County and its residents. The historical marker, which is out front over here, uh, uh, historical marker number 50, 
uh, dedicating this area as a significant historical marker. Um, as I said, it's located out front for all the citizens and visitors to read of the history and the significance of the old Shanklin School that was <clears throat> uh, on the site near here. Beaufort County EMS began in 1974. It was housed <clears throat> at Beaufort Memorial Hospital, serving the residents and visitors of Beaufort County. As the population grew, so did EMS, adding more employees and ambulances strategically placed throughout the county housed within local fire department. However, the significance of this uh, day is that we are here celebrating the grand opening of this new facility, which is the first standalone EMS station in the county. That having been said, let us prepare now for the ribbon cutting and officially open this new, uh, new EMS station. But before we do that, let me say a prayer blessing the facility and the uh, employees that will house this. Let us pray, if you will. Most holy and everlasting God, Father, we thank you for your love and kindness. We thank you, O God, for your saving grace through your beloved Son, Jesus the Christ. We thank you for awakening us this morning and allowing us to assemble here this morning to celebrate the grand opening of this Shanklin EMS station. We ask your blessings now upon this station and all the employees that will be housed in here that you, O oh Father God, will provide safety and uh, fellowship and communion amongst the employees that they, O oh Father God, will be strengthened and encouraged to go forth and do the work that they have been assigned to do. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Ribbon cutting time. One, two, three. Hi, I'm Virginia Marshall. I'm a paramedic with Beaufort County EMS, and we are at the new Shanklin Station, Shanklin EMS Station. It's the first station that's a standalone station, brand new for EMS for Beaufort County. Come on in, we'll show you around. So our future goal post-COVID is for the public to be able to come in and have what we call blood pressure checks and simple medical checks. And this is what this room will be dedicated to in the future. It will be closed off, the rest of the station will be closed off from the public by this door to allow us privacy and allow us to conduct our, our business that we need to as far as finishing reports and getting ready for, for training and that sort of thing for our next call. So come take a look at our living spaces. So the great thing about this station is everything is individualized and the individual bunk rooms. The old stations used to be a combined bunk room where everybody slept together. So the individual bunk rooms will give us time to decompress from calls if we happen to have a very bad call. And also it gives us some privacy with COVID restrictions as well right now. We have our space in here to separate from our um, fellow employees at nighttime to sleep. Going green, we have a bottle that refills at the water station here. I always think that's neat. So we're always about recycling in Beaufort County. And then this is our common area here where we sit down. We have our TV um, for staying up to date on the news and training videos that we can do. And then we have a common kitchen area in here. Uh, part of fire station EMS life is that we sit down and we have meals together. We cook together, and so this space allows us to do this. 